Chipotle is fast food. Change my mind. I just want to make one thing clear real quick. I love fast food, but I just don't trust it. And just like when you're in a relationship, have you ever been in a relationship and you caught your boyfriend or girlfriend lying, once that trust mm. is gone, it's almost impossible to get back. If you go yes. to a mall or a shopping plaza, you know when it's time to eat. It's always at the food court. I used to work at a clothing store. I'm at Greeter Spot and my coworker Jeremiah comes up. All right, I just clocked in, you can go to lunch. Cool, well, I'm gonna get a cheeseburger from, let's call this place, Ronald's? I'm gonna get a cheeseburger from Ronald's. You want anything? Don't go to that Ronald's in the food court. I used to work there before I got the job here. Why not? Don't go there, just trust me. Bro, I love Ronald's, so you need to tell me why I don't need to go to this Ronald's. You know how many people's burgers I spit in while I was working at that oh! Ronald's? What? If I looked up at the screen and I saw anybody order, a custom order, I spit in it. What did you order when you would go there? Uh, cheeseburger only ketchup, mayo, and mustard. Yeah, I've seen that a few times. I spit in that burger. You're, you're joking, right? How do you do this with the manager <laughs> around? The manager there doesn't care. You know how many times people would come and complain about hair in their food? And it was the manager's hair that was in the food? And like, Nobody here has that hair color. And it's clearly his. Needless to say, I stopped going to Ronald's a lot. So a few years later, I meet this girl, Brianna. She works at, uh, let's call her place Jenny's. So she works at Jenny's. Wendy's. And I find out she works at fast food. I tell her about the Jeremiah story. That is not normal. People usually only mess with your food if you're rude or an a-hole. Okay, did you ever mess with anybody? That's true. Food? Only once, because the guy was an a-hole. America Express. We got this guy's order wrong, and he came back yelling and cursing at me. I wasn't even on the line, I was at register. He's yelling Felt that. and making a huge scene. I'm like on the verge of tears. So if you're on register and you handle money, you're not supposed to be on the line making food. But since that guy was a super a-hole, I went to the back and I made his food. I took his patty and I dropped it on the floor. And I look at my coworker and he's just shaking his head like, it's not enough. And then I took his bun and I rubbed it around the rim of the garbage can. Uh, Don't be rude uh, to people who are fixing your food. I used to eat fast food that, every day. Now I eat fast food like once every five months. No, a good rule of thumb is if you ever go to a fast food place and the people preparing your food, if they're not wearing gloves, don't eat there. Because if they're ignoring that rule, they're most likely ignoring a bunch of other rules too. All of them, so, yeah. So yeah. to say, I pretty much stopped going to fast food. And I still, to this day, love fast food. So for any of y'all that watch my story on Instagram, out? every time I go to Tokyo, you see me at that 24-hour McDonald's in Shinjuku every single day. Everybody's very respectful. The chances of somebody messing with your food over there is slim to negative zero. So I quit working retail, get the job at Hard Rock Hotel as a lifeguard, and one day I'm running super late, which is pretty much every day I'm scheduled to work. And I get the urge for some, uh, let's call this place, chess. The burgers and the fries at this place are amazing. Check However, comma, the, the people they've been hiring and the quality have just been going downhill over the years. So now it's just too risky to go there. So it's the first time I'm going to be eating fast food in like four years. So I pull up to the speaker. And then he said, if we break up, ain't nobody going to want me. Girl, yep. his friend Tyrone want me. Yo, so... Uh... I'm not going to name the places I've been to, but I know exactly what's going on. People do that to either make you want to leave because they don't feel like working or they're just having a pissy day and they're going to mess up your order. I've never had a drive through experience where the worker wasn't pissed off and she didn't, she or he didn't mess up my order because they don't care. They're ready to quit that jump. And if they leave the mic on to just tell all their business, they really don't care. So, okay. His friend Jaquel is all up in my DMs. Pierre want me. Ooh, girl, Pierre. Yes, girl, yes, Pierre. He cuter than the mug. I swallow them all. Pierre, if we break oh up, you know what I'm doing? I'm Hello? Um, excuse me. Yes. Uh, See? Can I make an order? Uh, can you wait? They've done that to me before. Girl, I'm finna get fired today, I sold. Told you. What can I get you? Yeah, um, sorry, now I'm in a rush. Can I get a, um, 
Uh, can I get a number one, the chestburger meal with only ketchup, mustard, and lettuce? Hello? Oh, custom orders. <laughs> and, um, and, and can I get a large, can I, can I make that a large with a Sprite? <laughs> pull around. Pull up to the window. They make the order. She gives me the bag. I pull off. Cool. I'm driving. I'm just going to eat in the car. I take my burger out. Don't you guys love when you tell them only ketchup and only mustard? Super simple. And they put everything on it. They get it completely wrong. Told I love you. it so much that I turn around and drive back. I already know this is not going to end well. <laughs> I'm the chest. Can I take your order? Uh, yes. I, I just need a number one, the chess combo, the chess burger combo, with only ketchup and only mustard and only lettuce. I figured, let me just order like I'm a completely new person, but when I pull up to the window, that's when I drop it on her like, hey, you messed up my order, can I just swap you the messed up order for the order that you just placed, is what I tell her. This is her response. I just put this in as a new order. Why you didn't tell me back there at the intercom that this was a messed up order? You annoy! I swallow them all! She <laughs> grabs my order, walks around the corner. So about 30 seconds later, I see one of the employees poke his head around the window and look at me. Give and you the look. And then go back. Give you the and look. And a minute later, I see another employee poke their head around the window. Give you the and look. And go back. Mind you, this is not on some, we recognize you from YouTube. Because I started my YouTube channel, but I was only at like 100 subscribers at the time. So this is not that. So then she hands me the new bag and doesn't say a word. Take oh, no. the bag, drive off. I open up this bag, and it smelt like a dumpster, and the <laughs> sewer had a baby. It was <laughs> odious. This didn't smell like this <laughs> went the around the rim with it one time. This reeked. I'm not going to eat this food. As soon as I get to work, I'm throwing this away. So I'm driving. Lo and behold, I see a homeless man on the corner of the road. And I think to myself, huh. I pull over and I hold the bag out no. of the window. He sees me, stands up, walks to the edge of the road, and then he's waiting for opening in traffic so he can cross. And then I think to myself, are you an idiot? Those employees <laughs> did God knows what to your food. You're not going to eat it, but you're going to give it to this homeless man? That's that's not cool, bro. That's, that's, that's not, not cool. No. Traffic clears up and the homeless man starts jogging toward me. And as he oh, he's closer, I oh. panic. And I just drive off. But then I get to work at the guard stand, and I start thinking, from that homeless guy's perspective, I pulled up like, hey, bro, come get this free food. Psych, see ya, <laughs> Y'all ever put yourself in a situation where you oh, just feel God. like crap? I just couldn't shake that feeling of feeling like a terrible person. So for the next few days that I had to work, every time I would go in, I was looking for this homeless dude. Never saw him again, unfortunately. Oh. And I couldn't shake that the feeling guilt. of feeling like a terrible person. That's so to kind of counteract it, if I was at a drive-thru, I'd pay for the person behind me. If I was at a movie theater, I'd buy the person behind me a ticket. I was just OD. So yeah. Some of us love fast food, but some of us also have trust issues. We've been hurt in the past. Once that trust is gone, it's almost impossible to get back. So many things are so true. Actually, all of this is true. I have seen it. I haven't worked there, but I've seen it. And it made me not want to eat at that place anymore. Uh, the attitude thing, 100% real. They will catch an attitude with you so quick and talk about they're not afraid to lose their job. But then you go back the next week and you still see them there. So, obviously, they were a bluffing. Swoozy. Funny, great animator, love his channel. This just made me laugh because, bro, the whole leaving your mic on, telling your business thing, I've experienced that so many times, bro. Hilarious, swoozy, amazing work as always. Wow. Once again, it is Malcolm. If you are in quarantine like me, you can always watch videos like this with me by hitting this lovely subscription button up here. I also have two other videos over there you can check out in your own free time. Without further ado, I wish you well, I wish you good health, and I will definitely see you again next time.